Now inside of Maya, we're going to create a CGA file, prepping it with a render geometry, proxy geometry, and then also applying some anim files that can go along with it when you open it up inside of Cryon. To begin, what I'm going to do is switch to meter mode. So I'm going to go to Preferences, Settings, Meter, and click Save. I'm going to next go to Polygons, and I'm going to choose the sphere. This way, when it drags out, it's 2x2 two two on each way. And what I'm going to do is move the pivot down to the bottom. So holding down the D key, I can press D, V, and then snap to the bottom vertice. Next, what I want to do is go into wireframe mode. To enter that mode, you want to press the 4 key. And pressing the X key and holding down, I'm going to snap to the grid origin. If we go and look at our transforms and also the fact that we have the polysphere option still available, we need to remove the transforms and also delete the history. To do so, I'm going to begin by going to Modify, Freeze Transforms. This will bring all of these transforms back to their origin. And now I've also put into the history a transform geometry. This is the reason you do it first, because now we will go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. And now we have a clean sphere. Pressing the 5 key, we'll go back into shaded mode. And I'm going to go up into wire shaded mode so we can see this. Let's open up the outliner. I'm going to rename this to render sphere. Hmm. Actually, let's do sphere render underscore msh. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to change this one to Sphere Proxy underscore MSH. So clicking on the render geometry, let's apply using the right mouse button, going down to Assign Favorite Material Fong. And I'm going to do the same down here with the proxy. I'm going to rename this to proxy underscore sub for submaterial. This will be called render underscore sub the submaterial. Let's go ahead and go into the proxy and actually make it a different color and change the transparency. So now that we have both of these picked, we can go to the Crytek shelf. Let's load the plugin first, go to Tools, and we're going to create a Cry export node. We'll just call this Sphere, and we're going to set it as an animated geometry, a CGA file. I'm going to click Create. So looking inside of this hierarchy, there's something that needs to change, actually. And that is, on top of this group node, there needs to be a helper. So let's press Control G with it selected, and we'll go to Sphere underscore Helper, and then the Sphere group, and then down here we actually have the geometry. Let's go to Material Editor. We'll create a group from the selection. We'll call this Sphere capital M A T for Material, and make sure that your proxy submaterial is first. Next, let's go to the Export tab. Before I do any validation, I'm going to switch back and change some settings in my preferences. Like before, we'll switch it to centimeter. We're going to change the time to 30 FPS, and we're actually going to come down to the time slider and change it to real time. With those settings in place, Let's come up here to click Add Attributes. Add Attributes will allow us to apply the no draw proxy material to the proxy sub material. So clicking the proxy sub, if we go down to the bottom, there will be an extra attributes. Where it says physicalize, we want to choose proxy no draw. We'll leave the render as it is with none because it just needs to be render geometry. 
Now what we need to do is look at this and decide what exactly we want our animations to have. Going down here, make sure we're back at 1. And from 1 to press uh, Shift W from 1 to 30. It's going to be an animation that goes up. And then when we come to 60, there will be an animation that comes down. Once again, press Shift W. And that will only key the translates. And now from 60 to 90, I'm going to move it in the positive Z axis. So once again, Shift W. And then at 120, I'm going to move it back to the origin. So if we scrub all these back, we can see that we have up, down, left, right. Now what we want to do is go into the Animation Manager. We want to create a new animation. We'll call this one Up. And it goes from 0 to 30. The root will be the CryExport node. And our path will actually declare in a minute. Let's get everything in place, and then we're going to save, and then we'll declare the path. So let's create a new one. We'll call this one down. And this one will go from 31 to 60. Like before, cry export node. And then what we'll do is create a new one. Call this one left. 61 to 90. Almost done. Right. 91 to 120. What I'm going to do on the first one is actually because it's the default animation, the first animation will be the default animation, I'm going to change it to the name default. So now if we close, we can see in the animation export, we have our different animations. Let's go ahead and validate. It says, Sphere Group and Sphere Helper produce the same export name Sphere. So we'll go ahead and change this to Sphere Geo and revalidate. If you don't want to see this box, you can click the Don't Show dialog again. And now we're ready to save our geometry. So I click Save Scene As. I'm going to go to my D drive where I have CryEngine Save. Objects. I will save this as CGA. I'm going to choose Maya ASCII. Now that I have a path, I'm going to be able to go into the export path and make sure it's declared there. And then also down in the bottom, I want to declare my custom export path. Going back into our animation manager, I'm going to change the path on each one of these. Click Edit. And finally do the last one. I'm going to click Control S once more to save it. And now I'm ready to export. So I'm going to click Export All. 
everything exported, and generate the materials. Because down in the export options we have export atoms with CGAs, we should be able to go to the Explorer and open it up, and you'll see that we now have the animation files inside with the CGA.